Right guys, so you can see I found the snitch at this location. Just going to show you where it is. Zoom in on the map. As you can see, here's Checkpoint Charlie from DZ East. Um, you come out there onto the uh, road just outside the checkpoint. Don't go into the dark zone, come out into the light zone. Turn right, run a little bit, and then the build on the left, you'll see some scaffolding with ladders on it. Climb the ladders, jump through the open windows, and then you'll see the snitch behind these sort of partitions. So I'm just going to go and find Cassie Mendoza now and see what she's got for sale. So as you can see, Cassie's up there in the building outside the uh, American food store. You've got this ice cream truck. You've got the other ice cream truck. Uh, just show you. So it's northeast of District Union Arena. So you can see off our let on the map. Or you can jump to the hotel infirmary control point, And it's sort of southeast of that little bit away um, so I'm just going to go up and see what Cassie Mendoza's got for sale so to get to her run to the back of the building the food store you've got this little rope here climb up the rope and you've got this ladder and then you've got this window here and she will be through here and in the bathroom so let's see what she's got for sale so cassie this week has got a couple of items i would have a look at or recommend to you the first one is the anarchist's cookbook um having armor, explosive resistance and status effects and it comes with perfectly wicked so applying the status effect increases total weapon damage by 18% for 27 seconds you can sort the explosive resistance out for another attribute but the armor and status effects on there aren't too bad a little bit of optimization but uh, overall not too bad of a piece uh, if you've killed all the year two hunters um, and you've been able to get the hunter killer chess piece and it's showing for you, I would suggest having a look at this one as well. You can change the explosive resistance to crit hit damage. Again, a little bit of optimization on the uh, other two bits, but it's not a bad chess piece. And finally, Another chess piece, a Hunter's Fury. So it's got maximum weapon damage already, and you can change the armor regen to anything you want, create a damage, create a chance, keep it armor regen. It's definitely worth looking at if you haven't got um, a Hunter's Fury chess piece like this. And the only other two things I suggest to save you crafting them and save you materials would be the hardwired gloves and hardwired knee pads if you need them but you can still re-roll the uh, status effects and the hazard protection off these and put them onto skill damage um, or repair skills depending on which sort of build you want to make so that's my picks of the week uh, nothing else that she's got is really worth looking at uh, so if you're not interested in these, I uh, hope it saves you the hassle of finding the snitch and trying to find Cassie Mendoza. Uh, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and comment if you like what you've seen. Uh, the support is really, really appreciated. And I'll catch you in the next video, which will be a build video. Uh, I'm not sure what it's going to be yet. I'm still pushing for some ideas. So if there is anything you would like to see, drop it in the comments and I will have a play around and try and make the build that you've suggested.